When planting our container garden, the first step is going to be to fill your chosen container with a potting soil. Remember, you don't want to use topsoil. It's oftentimes too heavy and can cause drainage problems in your container, which isn't good for your plant's health. Once you have your container filled, and you can see here, I haven't quite filled it to the top. I've left a little bit of room so that when I water the plants, the water has some place to go before it settles down through the soil. Just before planting, I'm going to add a little bit of a slow release fertilizer. I've read my container and I know how much to add for a pot this size. So the first thing I'm going to do is remove my first plant from the container. I'm just gently going to tap it until it comes out. I'm just going to use my hands to dig a hole and I'm gently going to place my plant in the container. I want the soil level in the container to be the same as the root ball was in the original pot. And I'm going to add my next plant. If your plant has quite a lot of roots when you take it out of the container, you can just gently tease some of those roots apart. Once again, just going to dig a hole with my hand and place my plant in the container. Moving the soil back around it. Then I'm going to add my third and final plant. Right in the very front. You can see here that I've used a plant that has a very upright form next to one that has a very mounding form and one that has a trailing form. I've also used complementary colors with the purple in the coleus and the purple of the salvia and an opposite color by bringing in this really bright chartreuse green. This creates visual interest in the container garden.